Wait, are we going? Yeah, yeah, we're going. It's, it's okay, recording. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're recording. Cold open. Shit. That's how we All do right. this. All right. Yeah, we're here in the BSR lobby with Winnebago Vacation. Yeah. Y'all would like to introduce yourself. My name is Luke. I play bass. I'm Eli. Uh, I play guitar and I sing and I do kick drum, other percussive things at the same time. And I'm Brett and I play lead guitar. Yeah. How are y- how y'all doing today? <laughs> <laughs> we're doing good. We ate a lot. Uh, we were at what was it, Grandpa? Um, Grandpa's Creek cheese, cheese barn. Play? Grandpa's oh, cheese barn. barn. Yeah. It's, it's a, one. It's the one in Ashland, Ohio. Ashland, it was Ashland. Yeah. Okay. We also so went the to real one. Yes. Yeah. We went to the gun store first. It um, was very <laughs> wild. Yeah. I I really thought I was gonna get hate crime the whole time. Grandpa's cheese barn was cool because instead of having lunch, you can just have a sample of everything <laughs> in the store. And a lot of pretzels. Yeah, we were we were as one would say savage in there. Maple <laughs> cheese. Yeah, what was your favorite? What was the favorite thing you had? Uh, I'm indifferent about all. Maple cheese though. <laughs> Maple cheese. Maple cheese was alright. I had uh, this weird like s- strawberry like cream stuff, but it was powder. Yeah, it was weird. I don't know how they make it. Okay. But it was just like, it's a bag of powder, and then they have a little Tupperware of the cream <laughs> that you make. So you just add water or something. So really. it's been a good day. It's been good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm feeling pleasantly mediocre. I sucked so. <laughs> most of that car ride anyway. Yeah. yeah. And y'all are on tour right now? We're on tour. Yeah. Just by ourselves. Just huh? chilling. Well, actually, for a couple of days we've been uh, with Haley Butters. Yeah, our friend who plays as Absinthe Father. Absinthe Father from Columbus. Uh, it's day four of our four-day leg yeah. in, the, <laughs> in the middle. We're finishing up with them, and it's been a fun couple of days. And then tomorrow... Some highs, some lows. Some rock and rolls. <laughs> uh, we, um, we're we playing with um, Skylar Sarkis from the band Taking Meds and formerly from Such Gold um, tomorrow in Rochester and then the next day in Syracuse. Yeah, and then we're having an off day because Trace Mountain's playing my my house. <laughs> so. so you're going back home and then continuing tour? Yeah, one just more one, one more thing. We're, okay. doing like, we're doing this thing called Super Dark Monday in Saratoga. Which is like a good Monday, Monday night show. bar gig. Yeah, Monday night bar gig. We're we're known for our bar shows. Am I allowed? Is the question. Luke gets up on the uh, <laughs> on the counter and does some dancing. So I was um I was uh, no, <laughs> was to, to explain that comment. I was dared. I was I was offered two free beers if I <laughs> <laughs> if I if I go on stage at Cafe Bourbon Street in Columbus and just start dancing. And Middle I, of the day. Yeah, I think that, <laughs> I, I didn't think the people eating pierogies would enjoy that. A little child beat them to it, though. Yeah, no, there was a kid that was like on stage, like rocking out <laughs> yeah. to, to nothing. It was a bar. Can I spilled yeah. a beer. So all you didn't get myself. the two beers. Then? I didn't. Okay. I, I like unfortunately didn't. I had some Mad Dog though. Yeah, that's, <laughs> always, that's always a good time. It's all, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> But yeah, we're here to promote our new album, uh, Lust and Love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reichart and the James Boys. It's our side name. Yeah. Um, so we want like to give we want to give some special thanks to Ron White for the Chi Stealth and Security. Um, stealth. Oh my God! It's important we got to recognize Chi Stealth and Security. We got Carrie and Catherine Marks for funkiness, passion, and hospitality. No and you know, no like way. Alabaster Brown for just keeping it rolling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to have someone to do that. Out of the songs you play today, which do you think were the most funky? Um, oh, I think that um, "Can You" is the yeah, most funky. Pretty, yeah, because it like it's like a uh, Eli got mad at first because I I treated it as a Pharrell song. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, funk. Boom, boom, yeah. It, no, you're thinking of a different song. Oh, true. No, no, "Can You" too, because yeah. that song is like real, real groovy. Yeah, but yeah, but Stan, no. You just, somehow you're yeah. thinking no somehow is the we didn't play that one though okay. the funk we we have a crazy funk jam where we kind of just go like chili peppers vibes oh yeah yeah get that like, chili peppers get some fries wait what's that it's what's that head one. doing there it's another one can um can they, can they <laughs> yeah can we they, two of them can they wait, join them there's another oh yeah, yeah. shot <laughs> can this one join the party can this shot. one join the party can I just wear yeah. it yes oh yeah cool oh, that's fucking sure. awesome alright I'm gonna do it alright any more questions Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Put it back no, on. Um, yeah. <laughs> Less than love. Uh, you just um, <laughs> coming out tomorrow. You just released a split just a couple months ago, right? Yeah. Um, with our pal Shmeev. Yeah. Did you Shout play out. any of those songs today? I yeah. Guess. Stand back was the. It was the kind of one where I like. 
went solo during the verses. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like country-ish kind of vibes. Mm -hmm. But it's... <laughs> it sounds a little different on the recording. It's a little bit more like electronic and... The recordings generally sound pretty different from like how we play live, just because like live I like to make a bit more um, like separated. Like recordings kind of I treat as one thing, chiller, and then the live shows I treat as like a kind of different experience, less chill. Because I want you to <laughs> I want you to like go out and see us and possibly see something you won't hear, mm -hmm. just where you can find on the computer, you know? Because mm -hmm. you can find anything on the computer, yeah, except you know our live performance. Yeah. No, you can now actually. Because yeah. you recorded it. Pretty, pretty soon. <laughs> pretty soon. Um, Yo, it's up. actually already there because I've recorded it before too, but I'll delete them all. <laughs> <laughs> so we can be the first. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But then I'll delete yours too. No, let them, yeah, that let sounds them ask some questions, you know? Yeah, ask yeah. some questions. <laughs> we talk too much. Uh, you talk too much. much. Oh. Yeah. Uh, when you're writing, do you have any sort of like sound in mind that you're going for? Do you have anything that you listen to that you like? get really inspired by that you're like, I want to do something like this. I want to do something like, I want to, I want to make this, but like my own sort of twist on it. Honestly, not really. Like when I'm just, when I have songs, I kind of, I kind of like write them all in my, in my phone with just like a bunch of like, like memos, like just voice recording memos. Mm -hmm. And then I'll like pick my favorites from those. And they'll usually just be like stream of consciousness where I'll just like, like, play for like an hour and like come up with like seven or eight ideas mm -hmm. and then I'll just like pick my favorites like a couple weeks later and just like make them mm -hmm. um, and that's what I'm doing right now because I have like a, a little LP I'm working on um, and it's gonna it's gonna have like a bunch of songs on it um, yeah I mean like for as to like inspiration though like some of my favorite singer songwriter people are like Cat Stevens or Neil <laughs> Young or Joni Mitchell or Kind of like old school, like folky people, and then mixed with like some newer people, like like Alex G and and like porches and stuff. Okay. So, but like more like lo fi kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. maybe with some cure in there too. It's always good to have. Yeah, some cure. but I try not to like. I don't want to like model a song after <coughs> someone else's song. I just some guided by voices. Ah, yeah, kind of. Shrek musical. I mean, there's, 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 hunting I mean everything influences <laughs> what you do. Yeah, can't help that, but. Um, when you write sort of stream consciousness like that, do you find like when you go back and sort of pull the seven or eight songs that you want out of that, that you get sort of a unified theme out of it? Or um, yeah, I guess they kind of generally like have similar characteristics. If like they're from the s the same like writing session, they'll kind of have similarities. Mm -hmm. But that's like kind of why I like to pull from different sessions, so I'll have like kind of different uh, songs going. But generally for, like, this album, I kind of want to keep it pretty, like, like similar throughout the whole thing. Just, like, keep a, like, a whole vibe going for the whole album. Mm -hmm. Maybe with, like, one or two, like, kind of standouts. Uh, but I generally like to keep a theme for, like, a whole album. Maybe, yeah, with just, like, maybe one or two that, like, might poke out and be pretty different. Mm -hmm. um, playing live on tour right now. Uh is there any, like, one specific song or songs where you just like to go, like, all out and get real wild with it right now? Um, I'll let Brett answer this yeah. one. Somehow, I guess. But like it's the one we didn't play, so it's hard <laughs> to explain. I mean, yeah. I, I like, um, I think Show You is really fun at, like, the end. Like, all the songs we're talking about kind of have, like, different names on Spotify because I... I just took Peep Show quotes <laughs> <laughs> and, like, named the songs after them. Mm -hmm. Mostly Superhands quotes. Okay. Uh, that's why they're all so weird. Someone, like, put us on a on a Spotify playlist today and was like, I love these songs because they're, they're named so weirdly. And <laughs> I didn't come up with the names. I just... <laughs> just watching Peep Show. I was watching Peep Show, and I, I just like what they say. It's not from your noggin. Yeah. But there was also that one band called Dr. Acula, if you remember them. And they used oh, to, my Lord. They used to name all their songs after Goosebumps titles. <laughs> it was a lucid moment just now in my deathcore phase. <laughs> yeah. When I go, because, yo, that was like the first heavy band I ever heard in my life. That one? Besides, you know, Metallica. But, like, <laughs> but like I was Metallica. like. That's how I learned how to play guitar. Yeah, I mean, I had Metallica this. Metallica songs. 
I had this friend when I was young that like showed me Dr. Acula and I was like, this is like the coolest shit ever. Like the dude like makes pig noises. Like, <laughs> like that's so sick. Like, <laughs> the, yeah, like the audacity <laughs> to do that. Like, <laughs> Are pig noises still in? I think when, Somewhere. I think they went out of style and now they're back. They're back. I like think stock. being seen yeah. is back. Yeah. Seen I'm not, I'm not seen. Sure. Everything's like, coming uh, back constantly. You mm-hmm. can't, everything's just back. Yeah. Everything is back. And everything's also not in. I just want to bring back yeah. Osiris. Everything's also kind of lame. <laughs> yeah, I think what's really lame is probably like early two thousands right now. Yeah. And it probably will never be cool again. Hopefully. So what do we think is coming back then, right now? What's, what's coming back? What's the next back? thing to come back? What's Osiris is. Oh, cool. Osiris. <laughs> what's the next thing to come back? I don't know. I could see like, kind of folk music, mm-hmm. making a big comeback, like, like maybe late sixties, early seventies folk. Is there anything that's back that you can't wait to see die again? Probably like disco. Okay. Um, I could let that hold go on. away. <laughs> what is back that I want to see die? What is back that you want to see die? Hmm. What about you, Brett? What do you want to see die? Besides our president. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll get back to you. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. I got no answer. That's no. cool. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. uh, anything else you want to promote real quick? Uh, I don't know when this is going to come out. Well, I'm, uh, we're, Luke and I are going on like another tour like immediately after we get home on a uh, Teenage Halloween tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're going to we're right. spending a lot of time together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really and bonding and yeah, and just really close. Other and things for lack of a better term. Yeah, we're real close. Like the morning, especially. <laughs> yeah. Like Luke, I'm an I'm Luke an early makes me riser. Feel so good in the morning. I'm an early riser, and I make too much noise, a lot. And um, you're a the light sniffling. sleeper. You're a light sleeper that <laughs> that sleeps in. So it's like. I don't really sleep in. It never works. <laughs> what what's sleeping in to y'all? Like what time? Uh, I would say like eleven. Yeah, I don't sleep till eleven. I sleep usually till like ten at the latest. Oh. Yeah, you're. 10 o'clock but Luke's here. up at like 7 30 or 8 like walk around like <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like I, I, today yeah. I was like blow your fucking nose <laughs> like, I, I, like, yeah like I kind of like it takes me like two hours to not be primitive <laughs> two hours <laughs> you are primitive you're just like like no I'm like I'm like closeted primitive like just <laughs> like then come out already. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I mean um we're yeah, so we're playing in Akron on I'm um, speaking of primitive and like coming out and like all that. We're playing on 420 in in um <laughs> different Ak- tour. Akron, Ohio with um Teenage Halloween is playing this one. Yes. And um that's at Kling and we're playing with um City Cop, Back Talk, Sinai Vessel and Ghost Slime. And we're playing with Ghost Slime also tonight. Yeah. And Zodiac with a one. Oh, nice. And, sounds yeah. like a... Sounds Absinthe like Father. Very, like, insane clown posse-esque named <laughs> yeah. Zodiac, Zodiac with a one. But it's, it's, <laughs> one. it's really good music, though. We're so stoked for that. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a it's been a fun little tour, I guess. Yeah. It's been some... Oh, how it's been a little weird, but... It always is. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yo, and also, like, <laughs> um, Haley's music is super good, who we're on tour with. Yeah. And they write like really beautiful songs, and it's like been a pleasure to like share the stage with them every night. Okay. Yeah, cool. and I appreciate y'all coming on tour with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, say that outside the camera. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have, like once. I, I said I'm kidding. Um, so back to less than love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all so much for coming yeah. in and playing, talking to us. Uh, yeah. Hope you have a good rest of tour. Yeah. Hope uh, your tour when you come back out is good. Um, we'll come back soon, hopefully. Yeah. We're not that far away. Yeah. Upstate New York's not super far. No. New Paltz, New York. Okay. Did we say where we're? That's where we're from. from? We're from New Paltz. Yeah, yeah, we're from I'm New Paltz. I don't think you guys ever even said who you are. No, well, we said our names. Yeah. Some names. We said some names. You said our names. Yeah. <laughs> we said, I, I said. I said. We mostly <laughs> talked <laughs> about. Who are you? Where are you from? And where are you now? I'm Avery. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We we are from New Paltz, New York, except for Luke. I'm from Asbury Jersey. Park, New Jersey. Yeah, home of the boss. <laughs> Some say Bon Jovi. Some say Bon Jovi's from there. Some. 
was not. Do you feel, do you like the claim Bon Jovi or are you aggressively like? Uh, all right, I so bon Jovi. I can right. dig Bon Jovi every once in a while. All right, while. listen. I'll be, oh, he's he's a wonderful singer, but um, <laughs> Springsteen and Bon Jovi is like Wawa and Sheets. You think? Very much so. I like, who's Wawa? That makes sense. Bon Jovi. Um, bon Jovi is Wawa because Springsteen is deep, deep, sheets. lovely, um, <laughs> very interesting. Has a lot more options in his lyricism. <laughs> like he's like Sheets because Sheets is the better option. I like Wawa more. I'm that. glad we can agree on this. I, I know like that's, Sheets. A, that's a big point of contention. Like New Jersey people are like Wawa only. Yeah, well those those folks. Yeah. No, I, I like no, I like Wawa. Well, yeah. I mean Wawa's got a good chicken cutlet sandwich. They do have good. <laughs> they have way better. What were you chicken saying, Brett? Sandwiches. I said that I like Sheets. That's good. Yo, so, yeah. Brett said something. <laughs> Yo, stop. We didn't, even solve that. we didn't even solve it as sheets yet. What's up? No, That's all Brett tech talks about is sheets. No, me and Brett. It's been like nonstop. Sheets Yo, talk. Brett like wakes up in the morning and is like, Yo, how about sheets? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Sheets, better than Wawa. No. Black School Radio. Yes, um, good. We got two out of three votes. Yo, come on. Yeah. I quit. Thank you.